So as a quick summary, the ways that you can track assigned tasks, as we covered in earlier training videos, that when you create a task, well, let me double click to open it up, and you assign it, you can have one or both of these boxes checked. One will give you a status report, and the other one will give you all the updates of any changes that the other person makes. Again, we covered that, but this is going to be a quick overview. And let me close out of that window. And so when they do make an update and you have that first box checked, it'll automatically send that update and turn the task into bold letters. So you know that it hasn't been read yet until you double-click to open it up to go, oh, yes, there's been an update. Even if it's something as insignificant as adding a period or deleting a letter or adding a character. And then you've got the status report that we covered. So you can send that at any time, you or the other person that you assigned the task to that they accepted, as well as automatically it'll send out a status report when they completed the task to you. And then next, how about the task views? So if you have tons of tasks in here and you're trying to filter all the tasks that you assigned out to somebody else, not the ones that you're currently working on, come up here on the Home tab to the Current View group and click on Change View. And it's right there, those tasks that you assigned to somebody else. Click on it and the tasks that you're assigned to disappear and you can focus on everybody else and if they're completing your task. And it's like, yeah, okay, so it's completed. And then you can click on the drop-down arrow you get other ones those that are overdue in the next seven days, those that are active, and of course you can go back to the detailed here. And again, these tasks will always stay in here, even though that they're crossed out, to show you that they've been completed, and you can see the green check mark, you can uncheck that, and it says you don't own the task, your changes may be overwritten by the task owner. So in other words, when that person does any more updates, it could come back and change this, so let me click OK, and it removes the check mark. So Carrie's assigned cleaning out the fridge. If she does an update, I don't know why she would. Well, if I had a task and I marked it complete, I'm not going to touch it again. But for some reason, she goes back in and says it's complete. It'll send it back here and update this as if I came in here and checked on it. And it says again, you don't own the task. Changes you have may be overwritten. Click OK and it marks it complete because she could go back to the task and go, oops, you know, I missed something. Let me update that. And if she goes to like 95% completion or even 99, it'll come in here and remove the line through it and show me that it's not been completed yet. So she's the owner. I'm just getting the updates over here, but I still can control it. But the final say will be over on her end when she updates it because all those will reflect automatically and overwrite any changes I made here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.